How are you, Achilles? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. For the past two years, Lorraine Klein has been part of a global drug trial, with this location overseen by Dr. Sharon Cohen. Hi, Lorraine. The subjects participating were at the mild stage of Alzheimer's. Klein is 73 and works as a grocery cashier. That's where she first noticed memory trouble. You have to remember vegetable numbers. There was one number I started to forget. I just couldn't remember it at all. Tests confirmed some cognitive impairment, and a brain scan revealed clumps of a protein that's linked to Alzheimer's, called amyloid. That made Klein eligible for this drug trial. We're going to start the infusion, start the study medicine. The drug is called lecanemab. In September, its makers issued a press release about their findings, saying the drug reduced amyloid in the brain and slowed cognitive decline by 27 percent. Highly statistically significant, with, with disease slowing being seen as early as six months into treatment. What's not clear yet? How much the drug will cost or its side effects? The study's full results are to be released Tuesday at an international conference in San Francisco. This is a very hopeful time in Alzheimer's disease. Cohen will be one of the researchers presenting. We have, for the first time, an opportunity to slow down a bad disease at an early stage when people are still functioning well. As much enthusiasm as there is surrounding Lacanamab's potential, there's wariness. The two companies that developed it also developed a similar drug called Aduhelm. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave it rapid approval last year, despite its failure to actually slow cognitive decline. The brain is the most complex entity in the universe, and arguably Alzheimer's is the most complex disease of the brain. Um, so the fact that we have failed and failed and failed is not surprising. All of those failures have Dr. Donald Weaver's team on a slightly different path. Alzheimer's disease is really an autoimmune disease, a disease of the immune system within the brain. Weaver's theory is that amyloid triggers Alzheimer's when its role as an infection fighter gets misdirected. In its search and destroy mission to try to find bacteria, cannot tell bacteria from brain cells, and so it starts to inadvertently kill brain cells. The researchers here in Weaver's lab aim to find drugs that tone down amyloid rather than blocking it, as lecanemab does. Sooner or later, it's going to come. You know, we're going to get effective therapies. While all this may offer hope to people in the early stages of Alzheimer's, it's a different story for Feli Dizon. Who is that doors me out there? Mila, Tala. She would remember quite well something would happen long time ago. But if I would ask what we did for lunch, she wouldn't remember now. She and Vince Penkuska have been married for 20 years. She was very friendly, nice, lovely personality. Penkuska doesn't expect any new Alzheimer's drug will help his wife. Well, in truth, I, I don't know really what, what is waiting for us. I know that Feli will have more difficulty. The chance that the devastating effects of Alzheimer's could be slowed for anyone, that's what's driving hopes for the lecanemab results on Tuesday. My hopes is I get rid of the protein, that amyloid protein in my brain that's causing me to lose my memory. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.